Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Matt Mitchell Show. I'm DJ Foster, joined by Grand Valley State head football coach Matt Mitchell. Mitch, we're five days away from the start of the 2012 season. You're at Western Oregon this Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, how ready is your team? I mean, how have they progressed through the preseason? Are they ready to go for Saturday? Uh, we're ready to play. Either coaches are excited to get back out there, and our players are excited to get out there. There's been a lot of work that's been put into uh, this Saturday, you know, and from even after the season, a lot of the work that our players did and recruiting and a lot of those things that occurred in spring practice and all the summer workouts and three, three, three weeks of grinding through camp and really getting after each other. So I think we're, we're excited to play. I think we're all excited to kind of see what we're going to be about. You know, I think as a coach, um, you don't really know until you face some outside competition what type of team you have. Um, you know, you can make some assumptions based on seeing things, but uh, until you get out and face some different people, you don't know. And so I think that's probably the thing I'm most excited about is uh, we got some new faces playing. Um, just kind of seeing some of those guys and seeing what they're able to do. And, uh, you know, this isn't going to be an easy game. There's a, it's, a, it's a tough road trip. They're a good opponent. Uh, they were 4-0 alone at home last mm-hmm. year. We've got to go into their venue. So, uh, you know, we've got to be ready to go, and we've got to be ready to play. And so some of these new guys have got to have a sense of urgency about the situation. Most talked about position on pretty much any team, high school, college, pros, is the quarterback. Junior Heath Parling is back for his second year as a starter. It's the first time with you as a head coach that you've had the returning starter at quarterback. How does Heath look so far? Uh, he's been doing very well. You know, he, he, as you saw him throughout the course of 2011, he got more and more comfortable mm-hmm. back there as the games kept going. I think we saw that same process occur through spring ball and fall camp. Um, you know, we uh, we like where he's at in terms of understanding what we want to get done on offense. Keith is uh, it's the most important position in football, but he's not going to just win games by himself. So. His understanding of getting us in the right plays and distributing the f- uh, football to different people on the field, uh, I think he gets a grasp of, of what his role is in our offense. I think that um, you know he's improved physically too. Uh, you're still talking about a maturation process for a college kid. I mean, he spent a lot of time. I mean, he, he's a very hard worker in the mm-hmm. weight room, conditioning activities. I think he's bigger. I think he's faster. I think he's stronger. I think he's a better athlete. And you couple that with the fact that um, he's got more confidence back there. Um, I think it puts him in a good position to go out there and do things. But like I said, and all that really doesn't matter unless he performs, and he knows that. So he's got to he's got to go out and get the job done for us. Let's flip to the other side of the ball. You're obviously a defensive guy. How's the defense stack up so far? Well, the defense is interesting. I think that we have. Uh, you know, we have some more depth in 2011, but we're also going to have some new faces. Uh, I think we have to be understanding as defensive coaches that uh, we're going to have some new guys playing, whether it's redshirt freshmen like Brad Horling is going to be out there or Bobby Wonderlick, who hasn't played a ton, or some of our transfers. Um, you know, We've got transfers at all levels of our mm-hmm. defense from different schools uh, that uh, you know there's, there's going to be some mistakes that are going to be made. Uh, and we're going to coach through those and keep working through those. I, I, I think our defense is not going to be a finished product week one. I think you're going to see those continue to develop because, like I said in, in a little bit in the press conference, if you look at the stars of Western Oregon, only five of the of 11 that play in that game are back, and three of those uh, five are in the same position. So it's almost like you got eight guys playing at new positions right. or playing for the first time. And so the guys that have played have got to make plays and be solid, and these new guys have got to really be focused in and do their job. I think our defense just has to have the mantra that your 111th do your job. That uh, you know we're going to be the, the collection of the pieces is going to be better than the individual pieces themselves, and can continue to get better. So I'm looking forward to this defense. So we have um, we have some emotion on our defense. Uh, we've got guys that want to uh, really run around. We've got some strikers. We've got some guys there. We just got to make sure that that's focused energy, and that we've got the guys ready to go mentally. Last year, week one, you were up 23 nothing at halftime in Western Oregon. You went 44-20. Uh, as you mentioned, they were 2-5 and five last year on the road, but 4-0 and oh at home. So that probably has a little bit. Now, depending who they played at home, obviously, is one thing, but that adds a little bit different venue. W- what do you know about them going into this year? How tough is it to scout a team to play this year when this year's team hasn't played yet? It's, it's difficult. I, I think the one thing, you know, their coaching staff has remained intact. I'm sure they're looking at us the same way. So uh, you, you, don't, you don't anticipate there being huge schematic changes. Uh, if there are, then we got to be willing to make adjustments on the sideline mm-hmm. if we're seeing something we different see. So, um, you know, they've had success in that league. They've had their program has had success. So you wouldn't expect a radical change in what they're going to do. So that's what we're kind of preparing on. But at the same time, there's a little bit of the unknown. Right. There's unknown based on the schemes they're going to run. There's also on the unknown based on some of the players. Like I, we have some snaps of the, of the quarterback that played last year who's going to be a senior, but they also have listed on a depth chart. Uh, you know, a redshirt freshman, new kid, never seen him on tape. Don't know what type of player he is. If mm-hmm. he's on the game, what are his strengths and weaknesses? Uh, and so it's some of that newness that uh, is intriguing. Uh, flip side, you know, Western Oregon, they're going to have to deal with the same thing with us. You know, we've got some new faces on the defensive side of the ball. 
and some new lineups and stuff like that. And so there's going to be a process kind of filling each other out. It's been my experience in these first games that um, you've got to do a great job in the turnover uh, battle, which we did last year. Um, a lot of times their first game, special teams can play a huge role in all first games, and obviously did last year. So I know both teams will be working on the kicking games. Sure. And then uh, I think at the end of the day, you, you know, when you're – uh, Grand Valley and you're in Michigan, whether it's the first game of the season or the last game of the season, you've got to be able to run the ball and stop the run. And so those will be key points for us, turnovers, stop the run, run on the ball, and doing a good job uh, executing on special teams. And so that's been probably more our focus uh, on, on us more than maybe necessarily what we're getting out of them. And th those things would always be the main things that you would see would get get your victory in week one, the turnover, you know, winning the turnover yeah, game? Yeah, absolutely. If we're turning the ball over, we're gonna, it's going to be very difficult to win. We've got to, uh, you know, we've got to do a great job maintaining possession of the football and, and take our opportunities on defense. And then, um, you know, we've got to be able to run the ball. Uh, uh, you know, running the ball, I think, will help us, um, you know, again, control the clock, take some pressure off our defense a little bit. And uh, it was also easier, you know, game one, when you're not exactly sure what you're going to get, maybe from a coverage standpoint and what they're going to do, those type of things. Yeah, hopefully you can run the ball and kind of dictate a little bit more of the pace and the tempo of the game by running the ball. So uh, you know, we're going to run the ball this year. I know we have a, a very good receiver and things like that, but we, we're still about running the football, and we will you know, attempt to try to do that on Saturday. Grand Valley State opens up the 2012 season at Monmouth, Oregon, this Saturday, September 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. on the West Coast. Mitch, safe travels. Good luck this weekend. Right, thank you. Thanks for your time. Yep. For Grand Valley State Head Football Coach Matt Mitchell, I'm B.J. Foster. Thanks for watching the Matt Mitchell Show here on the Grand Valley Sports Network.